Hey, my name is Chris Brennan, and this is a promo video to talk a little bit about my page on Patreon for those that are interested in supporting my work and getting access to bonus content that I create each month on the Astrology Podcast. So I created the Astrology Podcast back in 2012, and I had a pretty good idea that I wanted to do something that was really broad in scope that would cover the history, philosophy, and techniques of astrology. Um, and I never imagined, though, that I would get up to where I'm at now, where my most recent episode was episode 415, where um, the podcast has just become much larger than I even imagined. So part of the way that that's been possible is that starting around uh, 20, what was it, 2016, 2017 or so, I started a page on Patreon where listeners of the podcast who liked what I was doing could voluntarily donate um, a certain amount of money, whatever they wanted, from a dollar to three dollars to five dollars um, each month in order to support my work. And in doing so, it actually allowed me to um, improve and expand what I was doing on the podcast. So it allowed me to buy new microphones, it allowed me to um, invest sometimes in new graphics or different things for the website. And basically through the support of listeners over the past decade, I've been able to grow and expand the podcast and turn it into the resource that it's become today, where essentially um, I've sort of found a way to teach people astrology for free using the platform of the podcast and still have it be able to support me so that even though I'm generating all of this free content, instead of putting it behind a paywall um, so that anybody uh, can take advantage of it and learn from it, I'm still getting supported so that I can cover my basic needs and assets and sort of grow and thrive as an astrologer. So that's part of why I'm pitching um, Patreon, because that's what it's allowed me to do. But it's not just something that benefits me, um, but I try to also give back to listeners who sign up to the Patreon at the same time by giving them a lot of different bonus content and benefits that are exclusive to patrons. So um, there's different tiers, as you'll see on my page on Patreon, that you can get access to different types of content depending on what, uh, what like level you're on. So let me pull up some of the different levels and talk through them really quickly. Um, at the base level of Patreon, one of the things that it gives you access to is it gives ac you access to a discussion forum on Facebook where different listeners of the podcast talk about it each month and talk about some of the different episodes that I've released. Um, the first tier also gives you access to my news feed, which is kind of like a private blog that I post. Every time I release a new episode, I'll write an update where I'll give some background information and behind the scenes stuff about the episode. I'll also talk about any production issues that I ran into, and I'll also talk about other upcoming episodes that I'm working on so that people that are patrons have kind of like a release schedule and know what's coming up in the future, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's on that tier. Also on that tier recently, I started releasing the show notes where for some of the bigger episodes, I'll actually have an outline that I'll write out that'll have a detailed outline of the episode, but it will also contain a bunch of the research and different things that I put into it when I was preparing for the episode, sometimes including things that just didn't make it into the episode uh, due to time constraints. So even though my episodes are notoriously tend to be very long and can be, you know, two or three hours, there's still stuff where I can't fit it all into each episode based on all the research that I do going into it. Um, so that's what the show notes are for, is that it gives patrons a little, little something extra, a little bit of research that was still good, but just didn't quite make it in, or in some instances that I just forgot to mention. Um, other things, so that's the very first tier of Patreon, and it gives you access to quite a bit, including just getting access every time I release a new episode, you're the first one to know about it. Um, the next tiers of Patreon, for example, the second tier is the early access tier, where as soon as I record an episode, I usually turn around and release a rough cut of that episode for early access just to those patrons. So all of the patrons get access to the episode, sometimes a few days early, sometimes weeks early. And sometimes this can be a rough cut of the episode, or other times it can actually be the final version of the episode that you get access to if you don't want to wait for the public release either on the podcast website or on YouTube. 
I released both an audio and a video version for early access. So the next tier um, is the live recordings tier, where each month we record our monthly forecast episodes in front of a live audience of patrons. And when you're on that tier, you actually get to attend the live recording, chat with other patrons, and also chat with the hosts as we get set up and record the episode. And then eventually, sometimes even when we stop the recording, Austin and I and the guest will keep talking for like another I don't know, sometimes 20 or 30 minutes about random stuff. Um, and the audience is there with us sort of chatting at the same time in the live chat. So this is a pretty cool feature. And sometimes the live chat audience and the patrons can actually, through their comments, influence different things that we talk about during the course of the forecasts, or they can make points that are great points that we didn't think of uh, that then become um, incorporated as discussion points into the episode. And it's a, it's a pretty cool thing having that sort of live interaction with the audience um, at the time when we're recording. So um, on the next tier, there is the Auspicious Elections podcast, where on the month ahead forecast episodes, I always release one auspicious electional chart, which is like the luckiest date that we can find for the month ahead. But for patrons, we actually record an entire 45 minute episode each month with me and Lisa Scheim, where we go through through and we present at least four auspicious electional charts that are the, the luckiest dates that we can find in the coming month for different types of ventures and undertakings using the principles of electional astrology. So we have a minimum of four charts that we release, but oftentimes we'll end up finding a bunch of variants or alternatives that you can use. And sometimes we'll release as much as 10 or 12 different charts um, that are good dates and times for starting things using the principles of electional astrology. So that's um, an exclusive podcast series that's available in audio and video versions. It always gets released around late on the third week of the month or early fourth week of the month. So you can use those charts for the month ahead. And that is an exclusive podcast that's only available to patrons of the Astrology Podcast. Um, finally, there's another tier, which is the there's another tier, which is the Casual Astrology Podcast. And this is a Patreon exclusive where each month I will record a podcast um, that's only for patrons um, where I call it the casual astrology podcast because it's a little bit more casual where we talk about news and events. We talk about things that are going on that we've observed that didn't make it into the forecast episode or that bear expanding on for some reason. Um, sometimes I release other types of bonus content um, on the Casual Astrology podcast, including old archival footage that I find with old, older astrologers, or sometimes I release course materials to patrons first so that they get early access to it and they can take advantage of some of the new bonus lectures that I've added to different courses and different teaches of, teachings of mine that I've released. Um, so the Casual Astrology Podcast is kind of a cool thing because it's a place where I can release content to um, supporters of the podcast, and they can sort of get bonus stuff if they find themselves wanting more or wanting to go beyond the basic four episodes that I release each month. Um, and finally, one of the last tiers that I have currently is the Producers tier, where if you're a big fan of the podcast and you want to show your support, you can actually get your name listed in the credits at the end of every podcast episode that's released um, if you sign up for this tier and you'd like to have your name listed in the credits. So this is kind of cool because it shows different people that were supporting the podcast at different points in time who just really want to show up as fans and supporters of the podcast. And then you kind of get your producer's credit permanently at the end of the episode with just your name, but it shows that you were one of the people that supported that episode. And sometimes those credits get baked into some pretty legendary episodes of the Astrology Podcast, like um, the Zodiac Releasing episode, uh, some of the different forecast episodes or the year ahead forecasts that were so important um, and different things like that. So it's kind of a cool perk um, if you're a super fan of the Astrology Podcast and you want to show your support. Um, all right, so I think those are the main tiers and so those are some of the main benefits and things right now. Um, I'm always uh, sort of trying to add new content and new benefits to Patreon in different ways. And Patreon itself is often expanding their functionality. So at some point, um, there may be even new things that I add to Patreon that aren't listed in this video. But of course, you can see all of the current offerings on the description page right now on Patreon. 
So um, I think that's it. So thanks a lot for listening to the podcast. Thanks for considering supporting the podcast and supporting my work here. It's really important and I really appreciate all the support I've received over the years. And um, thanks for listening to the podcast. So that's it for this promo video. Uh, I'll see you next time.